going to be out of here. We've been dealing with it the past couple of days. As we head into tonight, though, it'll finally start to calm down a little bit. Check out this beautiful picture sent in on my Facebook page by Tim Braden. Now, he was out flying his drone over Waterworks Park, and this was a screen grab of the video. Look at all the colors out there. Some really neat colors there on the trees, and it's a neat time of year for some of those spring colors. Your downtown sky, Kim, you just saw it. We've got some rain on the lens. Temperatures starting to cool down a little bit, too. 63 degrees under some rain here in downtown Des Moines. Whole lot of moisture in the air. 87% relative humidity right now. The wind's still a little breezy out of the south at about 13. So as we head throughout the evening hours, those showers stick around. Temperatures stay in the low to mid 60s. We head throughout the evening hours. They don't fall much tonight with cloudy skies. We'll wake up tomorrow morning in the mid 50s. Here's the rain. It's coming from the south, been streaming up from the south uh, for most of the day. You can see the heaviest stuff, though, has been just off to the north and to the west. This is a big old area of low pressure. It's along a stationary boundary, just been bringing a whole lot of precipitation to our friends out west for the past couple of days. And now we're starting to see it here. Temperatures a little cooler, too, just out to the west. Look at this rapid city behind that front, just 36 right now, 48 Sioux Falls. We're still hanging on to the 60s here in Des Moines. So this system, a slow mover. Notice as time goes along here on Futurecast, we're all the way into tomorrow now. This system has not moved very much. It's going to be just bringing us a chance for rain as we head throughout the evening hours. But as this low pressure system sits over the top of us tomorrow, we're going to dry out a little bit, kind of as the eye of the storm is over the state. Here's Futurecast. We're zooming things in. Five o'clock tonight shows that rain. It is out of here in the next three or four hours here in central Iowa. If you're out to the north, you're going to see it just a little bit longer. Here we've stopped it here at 10 o'clock. Shows the rain lingering off to the east as that system continues to pull a little bit off to the east. We could start out with a few showers tomorrow. Looks like much of the day, though. Tuesday is dry before another chance for rain as that system pulls through and we get rain on the backside by Wednesday. There's 8 o'clock in the morning first out to the west and then more rain here in central Iowa by the afternoon hours on Wednesday. Wednesday. Not expecting much rainfall, at least tonight. Generally around a tenth of an inch, you go out to the west, maybe a little bit more where it's been raining a bit more. And the wind's also going to be dialing down. Notice I'm putting future cast in motion here on Tuesday. The wind switch more westerly, and they'll generally be less than 10 miles per hour. So a little break from that wind, too, for you. 53 the low tonight could see some patchy fog, but the rain comes to an end over the next few hours. Dry for the most part tomorrow. Could see some showers to start things out. 71 degrees. Winds will be lighter and variable at about 5 to 10. Eight day forecast. We stay above average temperature wise. Again, tomorrow we're in the 70s. Wednesday, another good chance for rain. We cool down into the upper 60s. Thursday, some of that rain could linger into the morning. 71. And then a whole lot of sunshine just in time for Friday. 70 degrees. We warm things back up again to Saturday and Sunday back near 75. Another chance for rain by early next week.